beautiful people. Psychic Debbie here. Hope you're having a great day. Today we have a wonderful topic and a wonderful spiritual, insightful person that's connecting with me is Michael. Say hi, Michael. Hello. <laughs> and Michael is in North Dakota. And um, how did we meet? We met through a show up there, right? Yeah, we did meet at a show in Fargo. And uh, I happened to walk through the door, I believe, and the, the lady at the desk asked me if I wanted to go to uh, to see you in person right away at that time your show is going to start. So I said, yes, I will do it. <laughs> and uh, gave the lady the, the cash and, and sat down there and you you graciously gave everyone a little bit of a reading and I was really impressed with your results. What you had to say was it really felt like you had a lot of truth behind what you were saying. Well, thank you. you. Had a lot of support. Well, thank you. Yeah, that, I mean, I, for some reason I got really sick. I feel like there was some kind of vibration at that place, but <laughs> I got really, really sick. So did my niece. She got really sick. We walked in there and it was like, I saw so many different things at that place, but it was crazy. I'd like to go back, but I just don't want to get sick again. I don't know, but I'd have to probably do some kind of, you know, clearing or whatever it is. But um, yeah, I yeah. met a lot of nice people there. I was there for, you know, like a half a day. And, and uh, like I said, I got so deathly ill to the point my, my friend was going to, my sister was going to take me to the hospital. <laughs> She's like, you need to go to the hospital. I'm like, no, no, I'm fine. I'm fine. But um, I met a lot of beautiful people there and connected right. and Michael was one of them. So thank you for that, Michael, for connecting and, and you know, You're welcome. I, I, go ahead. Yes, absolutely. And um, I, I have learned throughout years how to stay well grounded and I'm an excellent in grounding people and things like that. And then I also learned how to access what I call the Godhead um, your, or your higher self, perhaps, your higher purpose, or where there are beings that sit in council and will, it's almost as if they give advice. Or so do you think that's the people that when I say, excuse me, my nose is itching, um, the people that I say I'm connecting to and I don't know what they're, when I ask them, you know, what do I call you? And they're like, uh, you can't hear it because otherwise it blows everything up. But uh, because the frequency is so high. So would you, what would you call them? I mean, you can call them probably anything you want, right? But right, you absolutely could. And, and I, I just know some of them I've seen, and I'm sure you have too, are in different colors, which is different vibrations. Right. And colors. So, you know, color is vibration. Right. Um, but it is also a place where I call what I call it the steel blue pool where you look at the pool. And then this is where you take your um, negative emotions or, or negative thoughts and feelings there. Let, let's say from childhood, you had an ongoing something's going on and it keeps reoccurring. This is where you can offer it let's say you're to, to God or the Godhead or to this pool and you, you can visit with these spirits for a while. And of course you can't stay, even though you'd like to, once you do get up there, you know, into that high vibration, amazing. but you do have to come back to earth. Right. And once you open that channel, like for me and you yourself, it, it's, you, you walk around and it's, amazing you walk through throughout your life you know and you have that power and, and um, that reassurance and guidance right so when you when you um because when i asked you uh what question do you want me to ask you and i thought this was very powerful so i'm going to read it off and so that people get to kind of know what we're going to be talking about or what are we going to be doing i don't know are you going to give them an exercise to do so that we can kind of get connected to that or, or what are you planning to do well, other than other than maybe a, a simple prayer where we set an intention and okay, and then over over time you just when when you do this exercise, uh, um, going connecting to the earth and going through your vertical power current or chakras, and then 
out the crown chakra of your head, and then eventually you you will access this higher self, this, this God, the Godhead where where they reside. Okay, so he's. I said to uh, Michael, "What's the question?" And he said, "Well, asking of how grounding into the earth, going up the chakras, out the crown head, accessing the Godhead, releasing our troubles, and returning to the body." And a lot of people would be like, I, we get it. And a lot of other probably people get it. But then there's going to be some people going bleep, bleep, bleep. What does that mean? And what are you, what are you talking about? Right? So right. do we want to um, kind of separate it and then kind of talk about just like every, every little section and then do the exercise? How does that sound like to you? Yeah, absolutely. We can, like, we will we'll start in the earth. Okay. We, we will get there and and yeah and then as we we go up you can explore your different chakras and as you're as you're um rotating we go in a, a clockwise motion all the way up through and then through your crown chakra yeah okay. so yeah we could absolutely start and talk well, about well, just one second let me ask you a couple questions here so why are you wanting the people to ground to the earth I want people to ground to the earth because essentially we are going to have a lot more, how would you say, um, connection, power, power, not like, oh, I'm strong and, you know, but, but, but self-confidence and right. you know, awareness. And you're going to be at the bridge between heaven and earth because we want to have more, more light brought into the planet. And, and people aware of their their true self and true light and their connection with God. We want yeah. you all to get closer. Right. To Fantastic. Yeah. Fantastic. So, and why would you want to, and then why do you feel that we need to go through up our chakras? Do you think there's blockages there or? It, it will, it, you will eventually, yes, find blockages mm -hmm. and things like that. And then it is easier to take them up with you. I feel to that uh, space, that blue, blue steel pool, what I call it. Right. So then, so going through the chakras, and then you say going through the crown head, which is um, a lot of times people go the other way, and I think it's fantastic that you're going the opposite, the opposite way that most people do. And I've said that to people. I'd be, I'd do a reading, and I'd be like, you know, spirit is saying you're doing it. You're going from here down. You're supposed to go the up. You know, some people are very earth people. Right. You, and going from the earth up, I think is fantastic because that's a new way of doing it. Not a new way. I mean, there's people that, but most of them are like, oh, I got to open up the crown chakra and the rest is all kind of discombobulated. So mm -hmm. I think with you saying going up and going out the crown head is, is fantastic. So is that giving power to the crown head doing it, it that way or? It would Yes, it would be giving power to the crown head. Plus, then when you're an energy worker, let's say like yourself or myself, you can access other things up there once you are, once your you, your body has stretched or your your aura has stretched or you know to the limits, and then you can go and right and from other places in the higher realms to access energies. Yeah. Fantastic. So, so you kind of talked about the Godhead before, but um, do you give your Godhead, um, are you saying that's spirit or are you saying that's a, for a certain kind of vibration or frequency or are you giving it, do you think it's an entity or do you think it's just universal is truth? I think it's just the universal is. Okay. Okay. So that's fantastic. Cause I was at a, a near death, uh, speech yesterday. I was just doing a speech yesterday talking about the is and we were <laughs> conversing what, you know, people are like, oh, you're just labeling it. But being in the space of is, I'm just going to give it a little bit of an explanation and I'm down the road, I'll give it bigger and better and write a book about it and all that stuff. But right. to, to me, the is, what spirit is showing me to the is, is a space where there is no, um, positive or negative or higher, but it's neutrality. It's in the space, uh, space of just, it is what it is. It's kind of like the plant is not, there's no thought, there is no judgment. It's, it's 
it's your truth and that you're in, you're connected to everyone else's is and connecting to their truth. Is that a good explanation? <laughs> Absolutely. Okay. So when you do an exercise like the one we will do, and we'll we'll we will get to that place when you do come back down into your body, you will not have a negative thought. You won't be able to think of anything negative. You might end up even laughing. The more, you know, and if it doesn't work, are you exactly like that? Keep on trying. Keep on trying. It didn't work today. Maybe work tomorrow. Just keep on working. Right. It, it, it took, yes, took me a while. You know, I'm not a Debbie Griggs. It just doesn't come natural <laughs> for me. Well, it, you know, <laughs> this is your little <laughs> stuff too. <laughs> and I'm always learning also, just like everybody else, you know. I am not, right. uh, definitely I'm not perfect and I'm human and I have to deal with human aspects of who I am. But um, once you get connected though, I think it's so wonderful because then you just, it's easier, right? It's just like it's so much easier. It's like, oh, it's kind of like learning how to ride a bike. It's like, yeah, the first time, ah, you know, but the, the more you do it, then it's kind of like, you know, it's, it's just right. automatic. Yeah, so eventually you're on a crowded street. It's automatic. You're you're there, and it, you you almost have that feeling of wow, rising above. Right, like that. And it, it's very very. Um, it's a nice space to be in. It's a very nice space to be in. Yes, Sometimes when you have the knowing though, and you see other people, and you see their knowing, you don't need to say to them, "I see everything." Because sometimes you're not going to want to say, ah, see, oh, you're having an affair. Oh, you're, you know, right. The money or you're, oh, I see this and that and this and that. And believe me, when you start seeing things, um, process it and deal with it in a nice, honorable, respectful space. That's right. all I'm going to say. <laughs> yeah. I used to be in one of the impacts and it took uh, quite a while to, to control that where I want to be in control. If I'm going to look at somebody, you know, yes, I want to be in control, not feel and, and continue to feel and just be able to, okay. And release. It. Right. Okay, be able good. to, yes, yeah. be able to see it. So that's kind of like saying, um, releasing the troubles and then getting back into the body is, is if you're not accepting someone else's stories or accepting someone else's what impression of you. So like last this past spring, I developed in this right hand, right where that chakra is, uh -huh. a sense where if I focus on someone and just by, you know, then if there's something going on, I will feel where it is in this hand. So it took me a little bit to control that too. Wow, that's that's pretty cool. So my thing is, is like I can tell when someone's a healer. So like when I'm connecting with you, but you know, I'm a photo psychic. So I see photos or I see movies or that's my psychometry. That's my connection, right? Because I see it and then I, I kind of know. But like, like with you, so like I'm sitting here talking to you, I can tell that you're, you have massive healing abilities around you. Even if you said no, I'd be like, oh no, you do because I feel it in my knees. I have really bad knees. And I was always into sports and You're football right. and swimming and all that stuff. So I can always feel someone ha being a healer through certain parts of my body. It's like, okay, if my knees are zinging, which they are right now, I'm like, oh, I'm connected to someone that's healing, you know? Or okay. if it's, um, I get it something in my ear, then I'm like, oh, they, they have some, some kind of communication, you know? I mean, or the third eye opens up and it's like, oh, I, they're connected to another realm. So do you get those kind of things too? Or do you see it, hear it, feel it? Which way are you connecting when you get into that is? There is a, a lot of feeling and then and seeing. Okay. I, I, a lot of times I don't see a clear image like you would see a picture, but I see feelings of where these, these, uh, the spirit is around this steel blue pool. And I've seen the pool. So I know what color it what color it is to me, and the beans. And once in a while, I have seen the colors of them, which tells me certain ones have different vibrations. And then um, I I've accessed um, 
you know, one of your favorite, your favorite place, your favorite place is by the beach, the ocean. Right. And mine is like, I, I've seen lakes and things like that and go to different places. Um, you know, uh, one of uh, buttes in Western North Dakota or Montana is one of my favorite places to sit, sit up there and be alone. Right. So, so you, you kind of go I to the see, space where you like. Yes. So I see things. So once you act, once you've left or and and access that, the beings up there or is all that is there, then you can go back and access and explore other things. Fantastic. Including, including the what I call the blue veil, and I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. I, mean, I do, but people probably don't know what you're talking about. So kind of explain it a little bit, Michael. Well, what I see the blue veil is once you do step through the blue veil, it is almost like being, it feels like a heavenly being in heaven or somewhere where, wow, this is just amazing. You do not want to be. And it's almost like a hologram of things that are existing or, or used to exist are there. For example, you cut the tree down and well, you're in your tree died, whatever there exists. So the vibration of it is still left there. Is that what you're saying? Right. Okay. So are you saying that, um, I, I just want to explain it to people so that they kind of get it. Cause you got to figure I have all different kinds of avenues of uh, right. levels of people. So some people are going to go, Oh, well, we know what you're talking about. Zzz, they'll zip through us. You know what I mean? Other people are going, I have no earthly idea what you're talking about. So when you're saying that, like, if you cut down a tree, the essence or the aura or the vibration or the frequency is still there. Right. Absolutely. Right. Or stones or rocks, things. You know. yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So I'm going to ask you a question. Do you think the beans that are up there that you say are beans or entities or whatever, do you think that, that they're at the essence of you or do you think they're individual? I do think they are the essence of me, son of a gun. I was I wanted to say I think they're individual, but no, then the essence of me comes out. Yes, they're the essence of you. I was talking about people about that yesterday. It's like, you know, what people say is angels and all this stuff, and it's like people are gonna be writing me, I get it, but mm -hmm. this is what I was showing that your angel, what we consider angel, if you're calling on like arch archangel uh, um, like Michael or Raphael, what you're really calling on is that vibration of that. It's right. not really an, just an entity. You're calling into being that is and that space and you're calling it into you. So, but then when you're saying, oh, my guardian angel or my spirit guides or whatever, that's really you in a higher truth helping you in this space. Does Absolutely. that make sense? Yes. <laughs> Yes. Yes. Fantastic. So um, do you think there's any other questions or anything else you want to talk about before we, we start? No, it's just uh, once you get up there, it's a wonderful journey and okay. you can explore many things. Okay. So, well, I'll let you take over and uh, cause this is my first time doing this with Michael too. So I don't know where we're going to go and where it's going to bring us, but I believe, and you got to be, and people know that you're safe to do this. We would not do anything to you that is in a, any harm. And if you feel kind of a little discombobulated, stop and walk away, drink some water, get grounded, you know, so do what feels right for you. So it is our clear will and intention to take you on a, a wonderful journey to the Godhead very safely. And we will explore a, a little bit out there and we will come back to our bodies where we'll feel very loved and at peace. So first off, the human condition has designed what, what I call the horror line. It is the vertical power current runs through your spine. It is interconnected with all the chakras and it is a link to the, that Godhead we talked about with the steel blue pool. It runs the vertical power currents to, through the center of your root chakra to the ground, where there is 
the vortex. There is a chakra under the ground. Also, each one runs through your legs. Also runs through your arms, your hands. So then, we we imagine, and if you were to see this um, horror line, it is to me it looks like just a tube, cylinder tube, size of a pencil, clear. Unless there's something disrupting it, then it'll be off color, a little bit cloudy. It'll be what? It'll be a little cloudy. It will look oh, cloudy. cloudy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's like a clear tube that's going through. Yeah, clear tube, but if there's something's going on, an event in your life could trigger this thing to be a little cloudy and a little off. Okay. So if you see probably someone with a, a curved spine, let's say the yellow chakra in the back probably is off, and this tube will also be like in an S curve. So by releasing blocks, eventually, da, 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 you know, you'll right. straighten that out. But anyway, <laughs> well, let's say we're just, what I do is I, I imagine um, energy going down into the earth and all, and the, the two chakras below the feet intersect with that um, one, the vertical power curve from your root chakra. And then they, and they're all spiraling clockwise. Now you keep going further down into the earth and I just like to attach my, my roots, let's say, or my light to certain rocks, some of my favorite rocks or stones or yours into the earth. And I, of course, you probably want to practice this with your eyes closed first if you're not used to this, and just to, so you can have a better visualization or imagine what's going on. And then, and these are spinning rather fast and they're in the earth, and this energy's in the earth, and it starts coming up. And uh, eventually it's at, the, at that chakra that's in the ground, and it's rotating these chakras. And then eventually you start working your way up the legs and that vertical power front to the root chakra. And you keep on spinning clockwise, around, even around the body and through this chakra, and expanding out into the aura where you visualize it's all, all this light moving around and really fast. Of course, the higher you go, the higher the vibration. Earth vibration lower than the root chakra. It keeps on adding and intensifying. And then you go to that yellow or orange chakra and keep on spinning and, and rotating up, spiraling up. And then to the yellow chakra, keep on spiraling up, up and up, vibrations are getting higher. And then you go to that dark chakra. And that one keeps on, on spinning, going clockwise around this, around your aura, around your body. Yellow chakra, same thing, a little high vibration. And brow chakra, again, keep on spinning clockwise, higher vibration, and eventually you leave your body. You are still connected. You may feel a stretch, your body stretch, your aura is stretching. Now, once you've left your body, what color are you? You're going to be a color. You're going to be a vibration. For example, are you white, white and yellow, white and purple, white and red? What are you? You're, you're going to be a color now. And this is where light is bending. Light was also bending around your are, but out there now it's bending. This is where light bends. This is where it's free flowing. This is where spirits are free flowing. And uh, if you, as you look around, do you see others with you? You know, other spirits. What color are they? Now you're you're going to keep on going up and up and rotating up and clockwise. Um, eventually, you're going to get. Do the, what do we call the Godhead? Just, it's, it's so easy for myself and Debbie to be there, connected. And now that you are there, and you, you will see a reflection in this pool, what are troubles, your troubles, or your, what do you want to get rid of into this pool? Something from your childhood or a conversation you had sister or brother or dad or 
somebody like that you want to release it and once you've, you've done that you can stay here and just feel how wonderful this is to be in this space and how loved you are by these beings who are your higher selves there it is a wonderful feeling. It'll make you smile. You almost laugh. And just sit with that for a while. How beautiful you are and how wonderful this is. And eventually, you will bring this back to your body. This wonderful feeling. And this feeling you carry without or throughout the day, throughout your day, and, and eventually throughout your whole life, you have this beautiful. But while we are up here in this, the heavenly realms, we, we can visit your height, your favorite place. What is your favorite place? Is it some beautiful trees? Is it the lake? Is it the ocean? Uh, and just feel the warm sun shining upon you. How beautiful that is, your favorite place to be. And can you can you look on yourself here on earth? Can you see yourself how happy you are? From up there. And eventually, we just start coming back. Keep in mind that we are connected to this Godhead and higher selves. And we can work ourselves back to our body. And feel that wonderful feeling throughout the day. And the more you do this, the more you will be connected and stay connected. And don't be afraid to ask God for things you want or desire or have a need. Dear God, I need to be beautiful today. I need to be happy today. Dear God, I need to laugh. There we are. In your body now, you should feel happiness and no negative no negativity and exist. So that is pretty much what we do. So you're going to the space of where the truth of who you are is, where there is no judgment because trouble or blockages are trouble, right? Right. Right. Or it's or what you what people say is negative. I don't believe in negative or positive. But me even saying I don't believe in negative and positive, I just put a judgment on it. So that's another topic. But because <laughs> there's no neutrality there, right? Well, it's like, hey, I say it this way, you say it that way, and we fight. But it's being in that neutrality where you can be in the essence of who you are, your is, your truth, your now, whatever you want to call it, and that you can. Um, you can express yourself and be creative of yourself and, and then you'll have a more of a knowing of which path or which direction to go to. Right. More empowering yourself. Right. Yes. Right. Right. So it's kind of like with me, when I do readings, people are like, well, then why do I need a reading from you? Or why are you wanting to help me block whatever? I, that, I think that's where I go is where I'm going to the essence of the truth of who you are and uh, riding next with you, not over conquering you saying I'm better than you are or you're better than me, but I can ride with you and say, oh, I'm seeing your path and I'm just giving you a confirmation of, yeah, that's, you're on the right path or mm -hmm. I'm seeing your path, your, your truth exactly. Even though everybody else is going, no, no, that's not your path. And you're like, God, I know that's the way I need to go and going in that direction. So do you, um, what else do you do, Michael, than just doing this? You do healings on people, right? Yes. 
Right. Mostly family and friends. Yeah. And so you don't do, you don't do for clients or anybody? No, I do not. You don't? Okay. You haven't gotten into that space of no the confidence of being able to heal other people because I feel like your voice is very soothing. It's very, um, I could see you doing, I bet, I bet people are probably going, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right now where I could see you doing tapes or, you know, CDs or little meditation things of like, okay, now let's just go here. My, my voice is very loud and kind of erupt and, you know, but yours is very soothing and caring and loving. I think doing like tapes or doing some videos of doing some kind of healings like this would be fantastic for you. I think I kind of doing a little reading here for you, but, but do you know what I'm saying? I think that um, you get into that confidence. I feel that right. you feel many if you wanted to I'm not saying get out there and you need to do this, but I feel right. like it's coming up to you anyways. I feel like it's going to come up to you anyways and kind of, tap you on the shoulder and go, hello, I'm here. I'm not leaving, you know, kind of thing. There you go, yeah. <laughs> so yeah. I, I, I definitely see that for you. And people would probably be like, hey, yeah, I want to connect with you. I want you to help me be in centered or be in the space of helping me get into my truth or my is, you know, just even doing this exercise is fantastic. So when you first did this or when you thought of doing this exercise, what came to you? It, I, I don't even recall. It just um, got guided that way. A friend the last summer, she showed me how to go further than what I used to. Go mm -hmm. further and access that uh, God had part of it also. So then while I was doing that, I did that and then I kept practicing and um, then I was exploring other things like the blue veil I could see or, or um, a lake or something like that, the buttes and, and the ocean or what is, what is something that's really soothing for you and gives you peace, gives you harmony. And then eventually um, learning how to look back upon myself or someone I will do energy work for. And then watching, because Spirit says, let's say, you know, Archangel Gabriel, Raphael, you know, Michael, we don't have hands. Stop right. using hands, they say. So they <laughs> tell me. <laughs> so just go like, go, go, go with us. Right. And then you all will spiral to, to someone whether it's in prayer or you're really, really going to release some, some blockages for someone. So that's what they, they want. So, I also can use my hands. So do you think when you do these exercises for somebody, you're doing it on yourself also? Yes. Okay. It is also beneficial for me also. And so that's probably what makes you feel good, right? Right. It makes you feel enlightened it's kind of like oh i'm going into the same space as you are i get it i can't think or feel like you are because i can't make anybody think what they're thinking or feel what they're feeling but i can have an understanding it's kind of like like i said you can ride with the person and go hey i'm yeah. help i'm helping you here and, that, and that's exciting isn't it isn't that just yeah. exciting yes it is so weird it's weird a lot of times i will go in from the head sometimes i will go in from the head also and, and uh, especially when I'm going with a group, like, oh, okay, I, I, I like a couple archangels, you know, and all that, or, or my higher self. And, and so a lot of times, so you'll go from from the the head, the crown chakra or the head, and go down, and then into the earth. Do you kind of like clean it up and go to the earth, or connect to the earth? Yes, I like to connect them to the earth. Yes. Okay, so you're pretty an earth person then. Yeah, but then, then in some circumstances, I like to make sure they are, of course, grounded and then, and then go up from red chakra. Or sometimes, sometimes I just uh, will feel, oh, I have to go here in the second layer of the aura and bypassing some things and just go there and, and work on that and clear that out. And... I, I also can hear, I'll hear the vibrations in that aura and uh, 
that, that way, well, that's where I don't need my hands. But I'll hear that and then hear it um, eventually break apart. And then the tone is very nice. But the tone is a tone you want to hear. It's, it's what? It's a tone you want to hear. The vibration oh. is like, wow, really nice. Now. Instead so, of a wavy, you know, ooh, ooh, like that, it might go something. So when you're talking to somebody, so like when you're talking to me, are you hearing a tone around me then? Well, the the tones that are, are off for you that I hear are your chakra in the back between your shoulders and the yellow one in the back. Those are the ones I hear that are off for you. That could use some work. Okay, so my throat chakra and my family... Not not this throat chakra that there's that green one in between your shoulder blades. okay gotcha and the yellow one on the back and then by clearing by doing this exercise so what i mean okay let me let me ask this way because this is kind of interesting to me never heard of someone saying i i tune into someone's chakra or someone's aura or whatever and so when you're tuning into it, what does it sound like? It's like if, if it's if it's clear, does it have a really sweet sound to it? And then if it's not clear, it's kind of like is it muddly or sometimes muddly? Like like the green one on the back is more of a kind of like that. That's okay. I mean. And I so know. if you are going through issues in your life. Do you feel that it always has to connect to a certain chakra? Because really there is, we're really one big chakra, right? We just kind of pinpointed yeah. it. It's just kind of like saying we're a body and then saying a chakra is your arm and that chakra is your knee or whatever. It, it's not really separate. But so, um, go ahead. So then you would have to, you would have to look for that um, will center, the will to... If you say will to love certain things, will to love your father, perhaps, or something from the past is, is what's blocking that, or right, will to yeah. love my mother. You mean <laughs> mother? <laughs> yeah, mine's, yeah, my father is passed, and I've really I'm that's a lot of release there. It's uh, it's almost like. I can connect to the issues that was with us and I'm really at peace at it. I'm just kind of like, yeah, okay. You know, I, I've told some kind of stories that my friends are like, oh, what? You know, and I'm just like, nah, da, 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 da. it's like, oh, it's, it's done. It's, they're like, oh my God, Debbie. I'm like, no, I'm, I'm done with that. And I don't know if it's because he's passed and that I can connect to the spirit of who he is and my mother's still alive. So maybe that's, maybe that's part of it. Do you know what I'm saying? Sure. And I, I definitely, and, and I know I'm saying this because probably other people are connecting to this. So that's why I'm bringing it up. Um, because mother vibration is receiving, right? And I want to be able to receive so that I can give and help people be in their spiritual realm. And, and I'm human. So, right. um, and sometimes we don't know what we need to receive and we don't, sometimes we don't know what we need to give. Right. Yeah. So that's kind of now, well, that's, that's a whole nother modality talk there too. Right. So, but um, <laughs> it's like, I could go for hours. I love this kind of talk, but um, so do you see that in the vibration of the receiving or uh, the giving? So it's like, so like you're saying my yellow or my green spot or, or the more the giving, the giving. The giving on that. So why? Oh, okay. So, boy, I give a lot. So I'm. Uh, why would it be connected to the giving? This is great. Let's let's talk this out so people can uh, figure out if they're saying, yeah, mine said giving too, but I'm such a giver. So, giving the I, love to the mother, or giving the love to my father, or giving the love to a mother vibration. Mm, I don't think it's that. You give enough but, love to yourself. Perhaps. Yeah. The mother vibration of myself. Right. That's a good topic. That's another way of looking at it. Hmm. 
mother vibration of yourself. Isn't it crazy how spirit starts bringing all this information to us? It's like, okay, and this is another topic you're going to talk about. <laughs> We're cracking open up the coconut and you get to drink the milk. So that's a good way of looking at it. So many layers, yeah. Yeah, so many layers, so many ways of looking at healing and and healing of the self, like you said, we're doing this exercise to heal ourselves so that we can be in the truth of who we are, so that we can be in the space of is. And see, that's the thing is, I'm not cutting I am down. People are like, oh, you're cutting it down. But to me, I am is being, it's like the house, and you're saying I am the bedroom, instead of saying I'm the house. And, so, and being in the space of the is, being in that space where you say Godhead, or the blue veil, or you know, everybody calls it something different is you're asking everyone else to help you receive being in that I is. When I say I is, then I'm saying all I is the universe. Yeah. Right? right. Saying right. I am is just, uh, to me, is more this. I am. So when people go, well, I want to be a cop, say. And so I am a cop. I'm a cop. I'm a cop. You know, people doing that with the um, law of attraction. And I'm like, yeah, see, that's so individual. But if you say Michael is a cop, if you said it that way, or I say Debbie is a cop, then I'm saying the universe is going to help me be in the space of being a cop. Does that make sense? <laughs> yes. Me, it yeah. does. Yeah. So it's like you're allowing other people to be in that space. So if I was going to heal the yellow spot or the green spot, so I would say Debbie is the yellow spot or the yellow spot is Debbie to clear it. I believe that would be a good start. Because you you have to acknowledge something before you can fix it, right? Right. And so when he, yeah, so well, when people like they're an alcoholic, was, they got to acknowledge it. If that, was, if that spot was like for myself, naturally I'll heal myself. And, and hear that vibration on it and then clear it out with a higher vibration till it's this it sounds really smooth knowing that in a week or so another layer could surface right because over over time how many years have you had placed another layer upon that exactly started uh, slowly revealing all layers. And I don't think the human condition could stand to have all, let's say, 17 layers taken away at once. <laughs> right. But that, okay, well, I'm going to argue with you on that one, Michael. <laughs> I love this kind of talk. I love this kind of talk. Because that's a judgment, and that's being in the 3D world, where people would say, that's a miracle if I could take all 17 layers. Mm -hmm. It's not really a miracle. It just is. Yeah. You would just be in your truth. So the body of you that's carrying the fear, worry, and doubt would be like, oh, it's not trusting it, right? It would be in the space of not trusting. I, I feel like hairs are on me. It's just, sorry. So it's like uh, when you get into that realm, I, I do that a lot. I don't know if you feel that stuff too <laughs> when you get in a higher realm. But do you know what I'm saying? It's like... Yes. It's, um, we're putting a judgment on it. We're putting a little uh, perception on it. So that can be true if you say, uh, I have to redo, 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 redo. And if, if that makes you safe to do it that way, that's fine. That's fantastic. But we're not saying that you can't take off the 17 layers. We're not saying what's going to happen after it. But <laughs> you know what so I mean? Be in, in the way a person words their, their sentence or, sets is what so that how you say something how you say to release 17 layers all at once or um i don't know i don't even know yeah how would how would you say that well you would say um my yellow spot is in the space of its truth and the truth is my yellow spot. Nice. So, uh, seeing this is what I'm 
downloading from spirit. So that's how I kind of do my readings. <laughs> that's kind of like how I do help people. So like if you're, so like me, I want to bring prosperity into my life. And I want to know that all light workers can be multimillionaires and light workers at the same time. I'm so tired that you have to be poor to be enlightened, right? I mean, come on. Right. If you're saying, uh, you know, so, so that would be the, um, the red spot or the first chakra, right? Yes. That's okay. Out. So then our red spot or our red chakra or our first chakra is uh, in its truth or is true. They're telling me I need to reword that. See there. So my, the, whatever I'm connecting to is so triple A personality. It's like, eh, that's a little wrong there, Debbie. Okay. <laughs> it's like, Okay. So they're saying, they don't even say that we have to call it red spot. We can call that space of where we're allowing prosperity, financial prosperity to us. So we would put it in our mind's eye, that financial space or spot or vortex is true. And true is that space of financial prosperity. I like that. So, and then when you're feeling a little ink or an ink or an ooh, then you know that you're holding it in a certain part of your body. Right. Makes sense. Then we would have to connect with that. So, I mean, you could be, this could be ever ongoing, but because I, I feel that a lot of people carry other people's stories for sure. Yes. Awesome. And um, I probably said that to you, Michael. I don't remember what I said to you because readings or whatever. I don't remember readings because they channel right through me. But, um, and I can help people with that. And I'm sure you can help people with that too. But it's like connecting to your truth as saying, let's release that. So like, like Michael's saying to me, it's at the green spot or the yellow spot. And the yellow spot to me is family issues to me. So if I said uh, my, the family vortex is true and true is the family vortex, then I would be able to clear it out or family issue or family love. So I would want family love. I wouldn't want to say family issue. That's what they're telling me right now, because then we would bring in the family issues instead of releasing the family issues. That makes sense. And it's, you know what is so weird is I'm doing this and I'm like, Ooh, I feel really lightheaded. Do you know what I mean? It's like, I feel a little kind of spacey. So family love is true and true is family love. And so their love for me was expressed in the truth as, as they know, or they don't know what they did onto me. Okay. Got it. Makes sense. Yes. That's kind of powerful. <laughs> I could feel it. Yeah. So connecting to the space of wearing to, um, I, I don't know if you're, I would say I'm releasing it. See, they're going to make me start using different words here. We're just changing the vibration of it. Right? Because it's always in its truth. It's There's always, always a memory of it. Right. You know? Right. It's just that you add higher vibration to it. Right. We're kind of tuning it, tune it, tune it, tune it, you know, kind of thing. Yes. Yeah, exactly. So what is your thought, feeling, or emotion about this? What's your, what's the contents to, of this? Cause we're probably going to have to wrap it up because it, we could talk about this for hours, I'm sure. And all these different modalities, I'm going to have to re-listen to this video, but, um, um, What's your outtake on this, Michael? What's, what, did you learn something new or you want to express something to the people? I just uh, pray that everybody um, learns how to do, do this or, 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 or be able to connect to God mm -hmm. like you can and uh, bring that energy into the earth. And, and know that they are a vehicle for truth and, and love, and they are a bridge between heaven and earth. And they have power. Like, is this your power series kind of 
you know? Right. Uh, yes. And that's a, that's a wonderful gift. Thank you for doing that. Thank you for doing that. Because you know, and I know, and I'm sure a lot of other people know too, that if, like Michael is saying, that if we get connected to our truth and we're bringing it into the earth, then that's what brings peace to the universe, right? That's what brings all this chaos that's going on. It's going to bring the peace to people. It's going to be the balance. It's going to bring that neutrality. It's going to bring that is to everything. And there's going to be no judgment. And when there is no judgment, I'm not saying perception. Someone else said, oh, you got to have judgment because you got to know if someone's hurting you or not. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about that your judgment of not being in the truth of who you are. You have perceptions. You can have perceptions. But when you're in that space, then you heal all. And not just yourself, but all. Right. And remember that this solar system is moving to places it has never been before. Right. So now, now is the time to do this. Absolutely. Yeah, because I think today it's a full moon, isn't it? Isn't it today or tomorrow? Uh, it could very well be. We have clouds, but it's all right. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's the connection. But it's all connected. It's it, That's yeah. just, you know, the full moon is one little dot compared to, I mean, there's so many universes. Right. right. We only seem to want to connect to one universe. Uh, I've, I've been told many, many years ago, and I had this in um, Canyon de Chez where it said, why are you just asking one universe? Why aren't you asking all the universes to help you? And I'll put a, a thing up on my Canyon de Chez miracle that happened with me. But um, it, yeah, it's pretty powerful. It's pretty powerful. And being in this space, I, I thank you so much, Michael, for bringing this exercise in. It's just kind of like a reminder, like, hey, yeah, I'm, I need to do this. I need to connect to myself. Just like you were saying um, with my yellow dot or green dot that I'm not receiving to myself, right? I'm not giving to myself. And we all forget, even us light workers, I'm, I think us people that are trying to help others or are helping others, we a lot of times forget about ourselves. We do. Yes. We were like, oh, wait a minute. <laughs> when we're in the hospital, you know, or we're really sick or we're sleeping a lot, then it's like, mm, I, yeah, I, I forgot about myself. <laughs> you know, we, we start feeling it in the body. Definitely. We step, definitely feel it in the body. And then you need to connect to other people. It's like, can you help me? And it's okay to ask to help, you know? Yes, absolutely. Because this, the, the way this video was created was because uh, Michael was being so um, appreciative and very nice to me and saying that he liked my last video. And, and then I was like, Hey, do a video. I want other people to hear your voice. I want other people to see you. I want other people to see your healing modality or your vibration or this sparkle that you have around you. And that, and that's your choice to, to present it whatever way you want to. But I think the, the world needs to see you or heal you or, you know, you heal them. And, but that's your choice. But see, I'm, I'm kind of squeezing you in there, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but I shouldn't be doing that. But, but I am <laughs> because I think you have a lot to offer, but that's, you know, that's your space when you're ready. It will happen. It will happen. So, so, well, I think we're going to just, uh, bid adieu and give people, you know, much blessings and smiles. I want to thank you so much, Michael, for doing this and giving this gift to these people, to the, to the universe and to the world. And you will be paid backwards. You know what I mean? It's a great karma. Yes, it's, a great karma. it's going to come back to you and, you know, tenfold. And I hope it does. And I'm going to say it's going <laughs> to. <laughs> and I think that is so great connecting to that. So you may look at things differently in different ways. And, and I'm sure a lot of other people are, are doing the same thing. And I really appreciate you for, for doing that. You're welcome. Okay. You bet. So I'm going to say blessings and smiles to people. And I'm going to say toodaloo. And I'll talk to you later. If you want to get a reading from me, psychicdebbie.com. And then you can go on my YouTube channel, Psychic Debbie Griggs. Instagram, Psychic Debbie Griggs. And Facebook, Debbie Griggs. Thank you, and have a great day. Bye-bye.